Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com and this is a setup guide for the Ninja Trader version of our XBRAP range breakout indicator. So I've got a blank chart for MNQ because we're going to look at uh, indexes in this particular instance. Obviously if you're setting up for gold pit opens and things like that, uh, they're different times. Uh, one of the things straight away with index uh, range breakouts, we need to be on the 15 minute time frame. So this is a blank chart. And we're going to go ahead and add that indicator now. So on the indicators section, go all the way to, we're looking for W5T range, session ranges. So if we go down, we'll find it. Yeah, there we go. W5T session ranges. So when you add this and apply it to your chart, the default is only one. And it's it, basically the time is incorrect because for me, because I'm in Europe, so you need to set those times for when those particular markets open. So when I'm looking at indexes, I'm interested in the in the London open at 9 a.m. Um, European time. And then I'm looking at the US open, which for me is 3.30 a.m. So it depends on the time zone where you are. So we're going to sort this out. So if we click on here, right click, go to indicators, look at session ranges. So first of all, I don't want the European gold pit open on there. I want the London open and I want it on 9 a.m. because that is my time in when the European opens. I want also the New York Stock Exchange open and that's at 15.30 my time. So I'm going to change that there. We're going to make sure we show fill and we enable session. There are other custom sessions here which you can set up. So, and these are for data points. So it could be economic data coming out uh, an hour before the US session opens at 8:30, for example, at uh, 8:30 uh, a.m. EST, which will be 14:30 my time. You can set all of these with these custom sessions, uh, or it could be 15 minutes or half an hour after that US session opens. So. There's, there's some there's a lot of customization here so when we click apply I have the London open here on this candle here and I have the New York Stock Exchange open here you'll see down below that's 1530 and that's nice so for my time zone that's correct for MNQ for the micro NQ and there there's the range breakout uh, one thing I, I prefer is it's a different strategy to something that you're trading. This is just a one, you know, this is this is a strategy that's on its own. For me, uh, I'd like to change things around a bit with how the chart looks. So one of the things I look for uh, is just actually change the color of the chart. Uh, I'm going to be looking at it, changing that to something like um, the dim gray, for example, on the lines, on the um, the grid lines. I'm going to put that the same color because I don't. I just don't want to see the grid lines. I'm not really a fan of grid lines. This is just my personal opinion. So I'm going there. Put them the same color as the chart. So when I click, click apply, I've got something very simple here. Um, I've got the London open. It's colored in yellow, which means um, when that range closes, we'll see the yellows printed before it as well. So we can just see this range is yellow. So that means we can either go long or short. In this case, it broke out to the downside. The short trade is taken in. See how it comes back to test the bottom of that range, then goes back down again. That happens quite a lot. So that was a great trade. And then we get the New York Stock Exchange open. That label and the range is colored in red. So we're only looking for the short trade. Short trade goes in and away we go. That's about 200 ticks or whatever it is. But what, I want, what I'm trying to say is if, you, if you're like me, uh, you're a sophisticated trader, you have six screens uh, and you want to make sure that you understand that that particular chart is for the opening range trades. Uh, you would, for me, change it into a different color, making sure that you know that, that that's that strategy and hopefully that sets up. So if we want to trade the oil, for example, we're going to open up a new chart now. Go to futures. I'm going to go to oil. Okay, and I'm going to put it on the five minute, and I'm just going to look back three days. That's fine. So I've opened up. It's a blank chart. We just want five minutes normal. Don't want high Kanashi on there. And we're just going to again. We're going to go through that process uh, on the indicators. We're going to ha add the indicator here.
So the oil pit open is um, at three, well, my time, 3 p.m. So it's half an hour before the US session opens. So just going to uncheck the European one. Uh, not even going to go there. I'm going to go to custom, enable session, and I'm going to call that oil. Uh, that's going to be 1500 for me, which is uh, 9 p.m. EST, but I'm in Europe. I'm going to change that to 1500. Whoops. Make sure I'm going to show the label, show the line, show the fill. Click apply. Okay. So that's the oil uh, opening range. Now it stays on this chart. Again, I want to clean the chart up. I want to know it's for opening ranges. Going to go to properties. Uh, and it could be any color really. Um, we could go for um, a gradient brush, whatever that is. Um, we're going to go to then for the vertical lines for me, get rid of that, don't like it, remember. I'm going to put the gradient brush on there as well. So just something that stands out because that's that strategy and then the strategy is over. Um, so we click apply and that's where we are with that one okay so it, the main thing is to set the right time so when oil does in fact open at the 1500 um, time for me in Europe I get presented a yellow okay a yellow um, box a yellow um, opening range so that means I can go long or short but then the range changed just to green and the long trade is on go long and that's the trade there I mean that trade is around about 69.60 to 76 it's 100 ticks it did pull back and then it's gone again uh, so this this is a big trade uh, but the main thing is for you guys to understand is where to set those times so for oil with it all the gold pit open remember on oil gold so energies and metals we use the five minute time frame for that opening range there's two gold pit opens a day don't remember there's 8 a.m on the european time that's the european gold pit open and then 8 20 a.m est for the us gold pit open which is 14 20 mine time just be careful with that 14 20 time because sometimes there's some big data 10 minutes after the, the US gold pit opens. So that's probably more tradable, that data point on gold uh, on those days. And you can just readjust the time by going to those customizable and just change those times and change the label. I changed it to oil look and there, there it is. Uh, again, make it stand out, make the chart stand out on your thing. So what we have right now is you know, MNQ, I know that's, um, you know, it's in grey. Uh, for me, that is going to be my indexes. So that's on a chart. And then also I can pull that chart out and that will be the oil. So oil only happens once a day. Uh, so I've just got to be making sure that I look at that, that once a day. And that's a great long trade. So again, just going back onto the indicators, there are lots for the W5T session ranges. You can go to the European Gold Pit Open if you're on gold, for example. Change that for me it would be 8 a.m. Making sure I'm showing the label, the the lines, and the fill. Or if I don't want to see that because I'm on oil chart, just uncheck. Again, you've got the London session opening. You have to change that time depending on where you are in the world. Um, New York Gold, the New York Stock Exchange. I've put in oil in there. I could also put uh, again if there was data today. I could put, um, you know, it could be CPI data, for example, and that could have been at 14.30 my time. Usually that comes out. Click apply, and then you'll see that range here at CP, uh, CPI data. Um, so, again, it, that didn't happen today, but it, again, you can see how that's gone on to that chart there and that's colored in green this time so that means you're only looking for the long at that point but again that's not right because that data didn't happen today so there was no reaction to that range opening for the data there hopefully this helps um, this is the ninja trader version of the expert range breakout it's a setup guide to help you understand to change those times change the labels 
and maybe make the chart stand out a little bit more for you for those opening range trades.